When I say the name Bobby Orr, chances are there's one image that will come to mind. This one. May 10th, 1970, arguably the most iconic hockey photo of all time. This morning, we're sharing some never-before-seen images from Orr's own personal collection, including young Bobby, even younger Bobby, and this one, the one time he skated as a leaf in Maple Leaf Gardens. And yes, in case you were wondering, there's even knee x-rays. You can find them all in Bobby, my story in pictures. What a great start to the week to have Mr. Bobby Orr right here, right now in the Your Morning Studios. Good morning to you, sir. Thank you so much for being here. Nice being with you. Let, let's get right off to it. You dedicate this to the Humboldt Broncos and all the Broncos players. Why did you decide to do that? Well, obviously it was a terrible tragedy and uh, it was the right thing to do. Uh, I just want everyone that was affected by the tragedy to know that we're thinking about them. And again, it was just the right thing to do. I want to go back to the iconic picture of you flying mm -hmm. through the air. You didn't see it till the next morning. Correct. You didn't know it existed. Um, but what I think is really interesting is in the book, you show the other side, the other side of that coin. You show the defeat. Mm -hmm. Oh, with, with Glenn and, yeah. uh, and yeah. uh, Noel Picard, yes. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lovely story. We've got the, I, think I think we've got the picture. Set, but, set the scene but, for us. But the, the best part about the or a funny part about the goal is every time I see Glenn Hall, <laughs> he says to me, he says, is that the only goal you ever scored? <laughs> oh, yes, here. Oh, let me show that picture right here. I'm sorry, that's my fault. I've got it right here. Two camera three. There we go, right here. Yeah. This is the picture. Well, we're right celebrating. Here. We're yeah, celebrating. You're celebrating right on the other side. and these guys. But you do make the point that they, they, both these men don't feel too, too bad for them because <laughs> no. they, wanted, they, had, they had fine careers. They had great yeah. careers, and uh, Glenn was obviously an all-star goalie, and Noel Picard was a, was a fine player in our league. One of the things that really comes through in this book is how much you value family. Mm -hmm. And you tell the story of your mother being asked constantly, how's your son? Mm -hmm. And she would point, she'd always say, which one? I've got three. That's right. Wh um, what does I mean, that mean to you? Oh, I, I mean, that's you know, my mother and father uh, taught us the rules. Uh, and any my mother was a waitress in Paris Sound, and it was a story you just told. The people would come in, and they say, "How's your son?" And she says, "Which one? I have three. So <laughs> that's that's how she looked at the family. We were very close. We didn't have a lot uh, growing up, but we were we were taught the rules, and we were taught to behave and be respectful, and so on. And that's they were mom and dad were wonderful. My mother, you know, she had the broom, yeah. she had the broomstick. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's one picture in here with the caption. This was a day that changed my life forever. So what happened? Uh, it, it, you're in Gananoque. I think this yeah. is the picture right here. Talk to us about this. Yeah, we were in a playoff series. Uh, I guess we were Pee Wee. It was a, it was a Pee Wee at that time, and the Oshawa Generals owned uh, the junior teams across Canada at that time, and they were starting a new team in Oshawa. Uh, so the Bruins were down scouting two other players in Gananoque to play for their junior team in Oshawa that would be starting that year, and we happened to be playing them in the playoffs, and you know. Uh, Mr. Adams, the owner, was there. Uh, uh, Mill Schmidt was there. And, uh, Bolly Cotton, the scout for the Bruins, was there. So that's the only time, first time they'd ever seen me play. And, and that's when Ren Blair, uh, who was the general manager in Oshawa, or going to be the general manager in Oshawa, and worked for the Bruins, he lived in Parry Sound until, <laughs> until he convinced my mother uh, that I really? should go and play junior hockey. That's yes. great. Uh, look, there's no accounting for taste, and at some point you dreamed of being a leaf. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and we've got a shot of you living that dream, kind of, sort of, in a Marley's uniform. Well, I was a huge leaf fan growing up. We were in Paris, so I went uh, hockey night in Canada every weekend, so I was a leaf fan. <laughs> look at this. I think a lot of people who can only see you as a Bruin uh, would be surprised to see this. What did this mean to you as that boy who, who dreamed so, so much of being a leaf? First of all, that was an all-star uh, team in Toronto playing against the Soviet team. And we were playing in Maple Leaf Gardens, and it was great putting the Leaf sweater on. As yeah. I say, growing up, I was a big Leaf fan, and uh, it, we had a, it was 2 1 game, three. it was a very good hockey game, and we were playing a, a very good Soviet team at that time. Um, Don Cherry was your coach briefly, and you've been friends ever since. He said, uh, you write, it's difficult to put into words just how thoughtful and generous Don has been to the Orr family. Now, uh, uh, he is such an iconic Canadian. A lot of people love him. And those who love him wouldn't necessarily say that uh, thoughtful is something that comes to mind. What, what does he mean I, to you? But I, I think that's one of the things people don't, uh, don't know in Don Sherry. He's a very sensitive guy, <laughs> believe it or not. Really? He's a sensitive <laughs> guy. You can't imagine the calls I get from him yeah. or the notes I get from him to take care of this young kid or soldier, 
police officer that's having tough times, but uh, he does a lot of that. Doesn't advertise it, so I'll advertise it for him. <laughs> uh, but he's a, uh, a very generous guy. And uh, Hockey Night in Canada, I don't know how many times he was saying hello to Arva, my mother, <laughs> yeah. or Elsie, who was my grandmother. And my father, he was so proud, he could pick up the phone and say, yes, I'm calling Don Cherry. <laughs> so Don's been a great friend for a long time, and he's been a great supporter, obviously, and uh, uh, I love him a whole lot, and he's, he's a good man. Uh, Bobby Orr, a great honor to have you Thank on the couch you. with us today. Thank you so much. Thank and another you, great honor is that I'm going to get you to sign this book for my dad. Thank you, Ben. Thanks Thank so you. much. Thank All you. The best. Nice being with you.